hi guys how are you all doing thank you so much for tuning in into my youtube channel in case this is your first time here my name is terry karibu sana and in today's video we will be talking about online writing this is the most requested video uh from my previous channel and even this channel especially when i posted that video about how to get direct clients dc as you call them if you have not watched that video please go and watch that video don't make us who we are so i'll dream until i make you real diversify your income and so why not in case you are a beginner this is the best video for you so stay tuned until the end of this video in case you have not subscribed please do not forget to subscribe to this youtube channel because that's the only way you can show some love and support and if you're a returning subscriber i want to say a big thank you for always coming back to watch my videos i do not take it for granted so feel appreciated by me online writing we have different types of uh, freelance writing we have creative writing that is content writing and script writing we have article writing we have academic writing we have um, transcription and video captioning there is ghost writing among others and so today we will be talking about academic writing i think that's the most common one and a lot of people have been asking me to train them on academic writing very many people are talking about academic writing and transcription so that's what I'll be talking about, but today I'm going to talk about academic writing. So what are the requirements for you to become a good academic writer? One, you must have a good English command. Your grammar must be top-notch and your choice of words and vocabulary must also be perfect because no one wants to read a boring paper where you keep on repeating yourself from the beginning until the end. So your grammar must be top-notch your choice of words, you must know which, which words to put where. So another one is research literate. You must know how to research. You must know what you are looking for. You must know where to look for what and also how to manage your time. Take jobs that you can deliver on time well because you do not want to spend the whole day researching. That way you will not be able to submit your work because you took a lot of time doing research and now there is writing, there is proofreading. So you must be research literate and that way will take shorter time to do your research. You must also know how to use someone else's work so that it can be plagiarism free. Another one is good writing skills. Now that you have done your research, you have the content, you must know how to put your work together to come up with an essay. And also, you must know how to use your own words. You must own the paper because this is your work. So on the paper, you must also know how to segment your work from the introduction, the body, the conclusion. And in the body, each paragraph must have its own theme and subtopic. And that way, your work will be captivating and you will also be able to write longer paper. So good writing skills is very important because your paper will not be boring and it will be it will be very rich in form in information that one is referencing style this i'm going to you to i'm going to do a different video of it because it's very detailed and it's very very important you must know how to use the referencing style such as mla apa harvard and chicago it's very important for you to know how to use this, but I'm going to do a very different video now, uh, showing you how to, how to write uh, in an MLA format, APA format, among others. And another one is uh, creativity. You must be creative because someone will teach you how to do research, how to, how, how to uh, pimp up your grammar, how to have good writing skills but no one will teach you how to be creative this is something that comes out naturally so you must be creative and for you to be creative you must you must be a critical thinker you must also love to read different articles different books so that's all for today 
and let me remind you if you have not subscribed please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel i will really appreciate that you can also follow me on my instagram pages and my facebook there are links on my there are links i will leave the links below so just in case you want to reach out to me you have any questions you have you want any assistance i will be there to offer that so go and follow me on my instagram pages and link is on my bio ask me as many questions as possible and i'll be there for you guys thank you so make us who we are so i'll dream until i make it real and all i see is